The design of the media pavilion during the Olympics follows the traditional architecture of a pavilion, with inspiration from the natural beauty and elegance of the wild rose flower. We've been working in this workshop, it's a four day workshop, developing structural systems, folded structural surfaces. Um, we're concentrating on matching the surface geometry of the design by Dimitri Demin, the architect, um, and at the same time ensuring we have structure to support the, uh, the pavilion itself. The basic principle of the folded structural surfaces is that if we start with a flexible sheet like this and add folds in one direction, it becomes very rigid and load-bearing. And at the same time, if we have a sheet vertically and put a load on it, it will collapse. But if we put curvature into it, it also becomes load-bearing. Now the curved folds are a combination of both these systems and when they're fixed and constrained become very rigid in both directions. And we've come up with a number of systems here where we can achieve uh, negative curvature and positive curvature, potentially blend in between those different curvatures in order to create the double curvature of the pavilion. Um, we have other systems here which can accommodate some of the changes in geometry. So we always tend to start with the physical models which give us a lot of information and understanding about the material possibilities and the geometric possibilities, the assembly possibilities before we actually build computational models. But now we get to a point where we can start to uh, build these in uh, Grasshopper. So we can think of the paper as analogous to the sheet metal. In the, the same way we fold this by hand, the robots will fold it uh, in metal. So the next stage is for us to scale these up to one-to-one -one prototypes. So we can actually test load conditions and see how strong these are, see how much more reinforcement we need here. And then we go into full production mode and we're looking at manufacturing approximately 500 panels for the pavilion, which is about five and a half meters high, 10 meters wide. The construction brings together high performance building technology to create an architectural interpretation of high performance sports.